Hello everyone, in this video you are going to learn how to install VirtualBox and how we can create a virtual machine. Now because I want to install VirtualBox and I have Hyper-V at the same time, so I have to disable Hyper-V. Well, by using bcd edit command, uh, this command basically we can turn off the Hyper-V and we have to restart and then we can use vir our VirtualBox. And uh, if we want to go back to the Hyper-V, we have to type this in the command prompt, elevated command prompt, simply cmd, right click, run as admin, and then typing the following command. Let's say if I want to turn off, we can just simply copy and type this command. And to turn back on for the Hyper-V, we can just simply type this command. So first, let's go ahead and download VirtualBox. We have to go to the virtualbox.org. And let's go ahead and download. And because I'm using Windows, I can click on Windows host. And it's downloading here as we can see. Let's go ahead open. And we can close this window. Let's click next. Default installation. Next and yes, next. All right, the installation finished. Let's go ahead and click finish. Okay, now let's say we want to create new virtual machine. We can just simply click new and let's call it PC1. And if this is Windows 10, this is the default directory where it's going to store this virtual machine. Next, let's assign amount of memory. Let's say 4096 megabyte gives us four gigabytes next and we want to create a virtual hard disk so this is already selected let's click create I'm gonna use the extension VHD for the virtual hard disk next dynamically allocated selected it's basically when the data moves to the virtual hard disk then it will take space from our physical hard drive if we assign fixed size it will take space right now from our physical disk so dynamically allocated selected next and this is the directory where our vhd file it's going to store and the size of the vhd file let's say 100 gigabytes and remember it's not taking 100 gigabyte right now from the physical disk because we said dynamically expanding so when data moves to the virtual hard disk then it will take space from the physical disk but earlier, if we said fixed size, it would take this 100 gigabytes right now from the physical disk. Okay, let's go ahead and click create. And this is our virtual machine, PC1. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it for a client PC and install Windows 10. So here we can see the settings. We can just simply highlight the virtual machine, which it is already selected and then click settings. And then we can go through the settings the name of the virtual machine and if I want to modify the amount of the memory, display settings information, storage, here I can attach the VHD or if I want to attach the ISO image so I can do the installation. Which for this video demonstration I'm going to go ahead and use ISO image which I downloaded earlier so simply going to let's say uh, Windows 10 eval and going to the Microsoft website 
and here as we can see Windows 10 Enterprise Evaluation Edition. So I downloaded already the ISO and I'm gonna go ahead and use that ISO image. So here when we go to the settings of the virtual machine, when we go to the storage tab and then when we click on this DVD icon, then we need to click here and then choose create virtual optical disk. So let's go ahead and click add. Here we can see Windows 10 ISO image where you download it, right? So go into that directory and add the ISO image. Open and making sure Windows 10 is selected and then click choose. And then OK. Now we can start our virtual machine. So simply click start. As we can see, it is booting from the ISO image and it's loading virtual machine to the stage that we can initiate the operating system installation and actually this environment known as PE, pre-installation environment. So let's click next and we want to do the installation. So click install now and then accepting end user license agreement. Next. This is brand new virtual machine. So we are not upgrading from older edition to newer edition. It's just brand new operating system installation also known as clean installation. Therefore, we have to click on custom. Here we can see our virtual hard disk. So we're selecting it and then clicking next, it will start copying data from the ISO image to the virtual hard disk and installing operating system. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. When the installation finished, I'll be back. And here, as we can see, during the operating system installation, system will restart a couple of times. And you might see this message, it says press any key to boot from an installation disk. And of course, because we attach the ISO image, we see that message. We don't want to press any key. We just let the computer continue its uh, installation. If we press any key, we booting from an installation disk, in this case, an installation ISO image again, and we're getting into the loop where we see the PE environment. We see uh, basically to create partition, accepting end user license agreement, all that. So we don't press any key. We just let the computer continue its installation. It will basically boot from virtual hard disk and it gets to the stage that if it needs any additional necessary data, it will get from the ISO image. So here it's pretty much finishing up the installation and I'll be back when the installation finished. Okay, so here as we can see, installation almost done. Let's finishing the installation, selecting your region, the keyboard layout. If you want to add any additional or secondary keyboard layout. So here, if you want to use our Microsoft account to log in, or if you want to use local account or join it to a domain, I'm going to go ahead and use the local account and the password. Confirming password. Creating security questions for this account. All right, so as we can see, installation finished. And of course, I'm using Windows 10 Enterprise Evaluation Edition. The license valid for 90 days. After that, the product key activation required. So for this video demonstration, how to install VirtualBox and create virtual machine, and then how to attach ISO image and install an operating system, in this case, Windows 10, on a virtual machine using VirtualBox. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. And to see more tech videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, and have a good day.